What's good guys, LBF back here, back again with another Vans review. And today I got the Authentic 44DX, of course, from the Neighborhood and Mr. Cartoon collaboration. Colorway is Uncle Toons Mart. These are size 13 and retail on these was $70. Unfortunately, nothing special about the box. This does just come in a GR box. This collection dropped this past Friday, releasing with two different shoes. We got the Anaheim Factory Authentic and the Anaheim Factory Old School. Old School definitely being the more subtle of the two, featuring an entirely black um, upper with a suede finish. It had some embroidery on the toe box and on the heel, whereas this one I feel like was more of the standout, featuring that entire upper with the Mr. Cartoon artwork on it. And then of course the cool typography that we see on the foxing. Uh, very reminiscent of the Miss Cartoon Syndicates that dropped in that very first series of Van Syndicate. Also, of course, the anniversary version of those Syndicate Authentics, which featured that black on black look. So very similar to that. This one featuring like the grayish, um, gray and black combination here for this design. All based off of this imaginary world of Uncle Toon's Mart, which is uh, supposed to be a liquor store. Um, I'm guessing this is supposed to be based in Los Angeles. Definitely has that feel, being that it's Mr. Cartoon. Uh, we do have that Uncle Toon's Mart hit on the foxing on one shoe, and the other shoe says Neighborhood. Um, very cool. Absolutely love when they put the stuff on the foxing um, designs and whatnot. I don't really know how much of an influence Neighborhood has had on this design. I'm not, like, super familiar with the brand, other than that it's a street where brand based out of Tokyo and they've done a couple of Vans collaborations in the past um a couple through Supreme but yeah I mean this shoe just heavily just gives me Mr. Cartoon vibes uh which I absolutely love because a huge fan of his artwork I do love that the toe boxes are different too so you'll notice one has the clown one has the faces on it whereas if you look at the quarter panels the medial and the lateral will be the same pattern here with the Uncle Toons Mart and the Rose. And then on the reverse here, we have the skull and then the girl on it. These are going to be Anaheim factories. So, of course, we do see all the typical Anaheim factory details. The quad stitching on the heel, which is in a canvas. You got that raised foxing with it coming up a little bit higher around that toe especially you can definitely notice that it's got the premium laces on it you got the white premium laces there black metal eyelets uh, the extra laces that come with these are going to be black so you can't go wrong either way it's going to look pretty clean uh, but one thing i did notice with these that didn't really give it the anaheim factory vibe was the finish on the foxing so typically with these anaheim factories we will have like a glossy midsole which you'll notice on these guys, you can see how it kind of shines on that black foxing stripe. Um, and you kind of get that same look throughout the entire foxing. Whereas on these ones, it's just like a straight matte finish. Definitely reminds you of like, just like a basic GR um, foxing. But I'm assuming they, they did that because they put the print on the side here. Um, don't really know, but it, it does have that slightly GR uh, vibe to it. Nonetheless, a super clean shoe, and this is gonna be so easy to rock. Really love how these came out. You got the white off the wall skateboard there with the black background on the heel tab. Standard gum waffle outsole. Uh, we got a gray hit on the tongue there with the black trim throughout the shoe. And we even have some artwork on the insoles here that's different for each shoe. It's pretty cool. You got the neighborhood hit in there and then uncle tunes mart with a little uh mr cartoon graphic up at the top there love that getting that clown look these ones are going to be a little bit harder to find now there were a lot of shops that picked these up but uh, they have sold out pretty quickly so if you guys are still trying to pick these up you might have to be looking overseas or if you can find like a mom and pop shop um that is selling these, uh, definitely get them now because they will not last long. Otherwise, eBay is always an option, right? So anyways, hope you guys enjoy the review and as always, be sure to stay tuned for the on feed.